in a world where everyone's vying for the title of main character, we all are reduced to extras in another person's film. And let's just accept the fact that we're all NPCs. I'm a proud extra serving my fucking country, dude. At least I'm not doing insane shit like setting up ring lights and posing on the fucking hood of my BMW <laughs> at the red light. I'm an extra, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, you may have noticed I have a Dybbuk box in the background. Probably wondering what is a Dybbuk box? Apparently these are boxes with demon spirits trapped inside them, sealed with candle wax. I already know what this thing is. We have a Dybbuk box that I've ordered online. I've been watching a lot of paranormal stuff, dude. I've learned how to trap spirits now. So anytime we watch something and the spirit of cringe arises too much in this room, in order to keep it a safe space, I can trap all the cringe inside of this box back here. So, you know, I'm a fully prepared professional. Don't try this at home. She rejected his proposal in front of the whole school. Oh man, that's gonna be... That's gonna be rough. No way, this just to get all his boys to fucking learn a choreographed synchronized dance dude this is not the way to propose keep it low key this is way too much pressure not only on yourself but on her you're asking for a fucking nightmare to unravel in front of your eyes <laughs> also real quick it's pretty young do they are they do they go are they students at this school maybe it's a university this must be a university. Because high school, dude, that's kind of fucking... It's a little bit crazy. No? <laughs> Just knowing it's coming, dude, is so brutal. Where was this? India, I guess, is from uh, r slash funny India. <laughs> oh no, dude, are school shooters a problem in India too? Cause, hey, don't come into school next week, you know? <laughs> oh shit. I legitimately have no idea how you recover from that. Can I see your seat? Can you see what? Your seat? Thank you. Here you, you go, see sir. that? Can you see your items real quick? No, you, you can see the items. Can you show them to me? You're welcome to look at them. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That'll blow an old guy's mind. He's not even sure what he saw. He ate my receipt. <laughs> Call the police, please. <laughs> Call the police. Yeah, he's escalating it to a level that probably is unnecessary. Call the police, he ate my receipt. Dude, Walmart is like not a safe place if you're over the age of 40. And nowadays, you have to assume anytime you're in a Walmart that you're also on a, on some kid's prank channel. You're being TikToked, dude. This kid doesn't work there. <laughs> Trust no one. Nothing is real anymore, dude. If it's online, it's AI. If it's in real life, it's a fucking TikToker in disguise. <laughs> Here to humiliate you. With this person. Who is this person? Yeah. What role did you play here? Yeah. What role did you play in here, sir? What do you mean? He ate Dude, my he's receipt. unraveling. He, what, what? He ate your receipt? Do you want to pull the cameras up and see it? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'm just asking what's going on. I'm making on. sure that everything's okay. Because outside he was yelling at someone for taking his parking spot. So what is you? Who are you to do anything? What the? I was making so, sure everything's okay. You have cameras in here. Can we bring the tape out? <laughs> Guy's entire perception of reality is fucking crumbling in front of him, dude. He's, you just, br you broke a man. That was the final straw. Eating a receipt in front of him and being like, I, what are you talking about? Damn. Dude, I'm like, I'm afraid of Walmarts. Can't now. trust anybody just because he's got a Walmart vest on. It's a goddamn shame. Imagine taking a photo of a guy doing deadlifts in the middle of a crosswalk, then getting upset when someone crosses the street. Oh, you're influencing. <laughs> yeah, the only oh, thing man. you're influencing is natural selection. Damn, dude, doing deadlifts in the middle of the street. Deadlift, that's what the headline's gonna read when he inevitably gets hit by a fucking Uber, dude. He's gonna be deadlift, dead Uber, dead taxi, dead bus. I don't know. <laughs>
Dude, you're gonna get hit by a car. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Get out of the street. Shut up! I mean, it's not, it's hard not to feel for the guy, right? He's already making minimum wage working at McDonald's dealing with the worst customers. On a good day. Now he's got this lady screaming. Also, it's just like, even if you think this is a good message, you're starting at McDonald's. <laughs> Probably not the best, most receptive crowd, you know? <laughs> oh no, dude, no. Already, no, dude, make it fucking stop my corneas. <laughs> It's too much pressure for my poor, uh, eyeballs. I gotta go back. Dude, what happened? He just he did like a couple warm-up claps. Oh man, I've never had such in insane cringe blue balls. I was ready to fucking... <laughs> I was ready to bust a cringe nut, dude. And I'm all backed up. Oh, you got big eyes? Look you a big white girl I mean? Oh boy. Give me that orange chicken. No, we don't sell it to you, okay? Come on. Get back there, you mother... Oh, you talking shit too long. Oh, you filming? Look at your fat ass. Tattoo, fat bitch. <laughs> this bitch need to go on Denny Craig. Got her phone out, bitch. Dude's got fucking insults from 2001. Jenny Craig, bro. It's Ozempic now. You gotta stay on top of the references. They gotta fucking bite anybody in here, nigga. You wanna fuck with the devil? <laughs> oh man, that is the dude. Some people say the most insane. Cra this sounds like the guys who scream up and down the alleyway outside, <laughs> outside my apartment, just saying the most insane shit. There's a guy who literally came down the alleyway a, a while ago, who we call Bones now, because it was like 9 p.m. at night and he was screaming at the top of his lungs. I'm the one that'll bury your bones. Tell me that's not the most metal shit you've ever heard. You little bitch ass nigga, you a pussy. <laughs> Missing a tooth and everything? Hell yeah, dude. Stop touching her. Get that nose ring out your fucking nose, bitch. Oh, <laughs> Rare insults, dude. Holy fuck. I see you under the with the bitch, bitch. Record me. Put me on TikTok. Ah, the perfect ending. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. What the fuck? I don't know what just happened. Main character started acting up. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's always a weird move, though. I've seen this a couple times for some reason. Girls aggressively using their tits. It's always a strange move. An aggressive tit flash? Who's that for? That should, that should be a celebratory thing. That's a fun... <laughs> That's a fun thing. Why are you angry about it? It just doesn't make sense. I don't know what parts of the brain are interacting at that point where in a, when sometimes a girl goes to fight and then they do some weirdly aggressive like sexual move. An angry tit flash or in this case like what would you call that? Boob jiggle? An aggressive boob jiggle. It does. I guess it d does kind of disarm your defenses. You have, <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to combat this, you know? Seems like it's a lose-lose for me. If I acknowledge it in any sort of way, they might, this might actually be genius. Cause how, if this happened to me, how am I supposed to respond? Can't you start fucking squeezing my balls, pinching my nipples? It doesn't make it. <laughs> what is this from?
Is this a real old Kesha video? No way, dude. In Japan. Oh, they would hate that, dude. There's a very different system of manners in Japan. And I don't think Kesha screaming out of the top of her lungs is on the list of polite things that people would like to encounter. Oh, fuck, that's brutal. Why is it auto-tuned? Like, it just seems like it's supposed to be, like, kind of candid. It's all black and white, like, behind-the-scenes style. But it's horrifically uh, still altered. Oh my god, that's fucking brutal, dude. Let me go back. Oh, the look in her face. She's taking it so fucking serious. Ah, no, you know what, dude? Get in the Kesha? Kesha? Get in the box, Kesha. <laughs> Holy fuck. We got Kesha. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. We got our very first cringe spirit. And it's Kesha. It's a big one. It's a big one. <laughs> Who is this person? Very. What role did you play here? Yeah. What role did you play in here, sir? 